Greetings. God bless you, my friends, and I'm glad you are here today. This is Earthman from EarthmanSoil.com, and I'm very excited to talk to you, as always, about growing organically. You know, I looked at it years ago, and I wanted to grow the best of the best, and I wanted to do it organically, but I come to realize in my research that you need living soil in order to do that. And that's what we're all about here at Earthman Soil. We're about putting life into your soil. So let's talk about life and soil. There are different ways of doing it. There are IMOs, which are indigenous microorganisms that you can collect and harvest and put into your soil to help your plants grow successively large and healthy. And these are great, but I went a step further and I looked at other type of bacteria and we're gonna look at these bacteria today, which are called plant growth promoting rhizobacteria. These are a special class of bacteria that occupy the rhizosphere or the root zone of a plant. And they have this special ability to promote your plant's growth and your plant's natural defenses. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to talk about these plant growth promoting bacteria or plant growth promoting rhizobacteria. And it's a very exciting and I can't wait to share it. So let's look at these growth promoting rhizobacteria. They're very small and um, you can't look at them um, with your eyes. You need a microscope. And um, it, sometimes it's like, is there any bacteria in there? Is something in it? But believe me, if you were to take just a tablespoon of organic living soil, you would see so much life in it. And it's just amazing how God designed these specific type of bacteria, designed them to do specific jobs. And that's what we're gonna talk about a, lo a lot today and the days to come why these bacteria God created and why he gave them to us to grow organic, you know, food, flour, whatever you're growing. And uh, I just love living soil. So let's get right into it. So let's look at what growth promoting bacteria or rhizobacteria will do for your garden, grow, and um, in your plants. Uh, well, first of all, they enhance your plants growth and nutritional uptake. Um, they help your plant uh, fight diseases and uh, ambiotic stress, um, diseases such, you know, that attack your leaves and your root system. And ambiotic stress such as, you know, uh, heat stress, cold stress, uh, lack of moisture. These, you know, bacteria will help your plant stay healthy during those stressful times. Um, these bacteria are uh, being used in biomass and biofuel production. They're, they're finding so many different uses for these bacteria. They are healing our polluted lands. They're using these bacteria that are just polluted with uh, heavy metals and toxin, and they're applying these bacteria to the soil. And what these bacteria are doing, they're taking all this garbage that man put in the soil, and they're making it into plant food. And now these lands are becoming healed, and they're doing it the real way. So let's all continue to look at the benefits of growth-promoting rhizobacteria for your grow and garden. Uh, they help with protein synthesis and basically they help your plant pr uh, produce more protein that it needs for cell division and growth. They help with your plant's respiration by triggering certain um, hormones in your plant that will help your plant bring in more carbon more efficiently and um, it will help also with the senescence of your plant, the, its growth cycle by stretching it out toward the end, especially uh, not allowing your plants to die as quickly. Uh, it aids in the flowering and the fruiting of your plant. And we're gonna talk about how that happens a little more down the road. It helps your plant with its photosynthesis by just using light more efficiently. Once again, by giving it the hormones and secretions that it needs to trigger the plant to do these things. It helps with lipid uh, metabolism, which is like protein synthesis. It helps, you know, create new shoots and roots and things like that. And also it helps by, you know, freeing up locked nutrients that are in your soil. Guys, there's so much nutrients in their soil 
but it is locked and there's nothing that the plant can do to break it down. Its roots aren't designed to do that. That's where, that's where the rhizobacteria come in. They break down those nutrients and make it available. These exciting microbes, these rhizobacteria, they just are amazing and they give your plants so much such as hormone production. Plants need hormones in order to uh, efficiently uh, take in light, to take up nutrients, to get big. To, to, so many functions are, are guided with plant hormones. And the more you got, the better your plant's going to do. Plant, you know, plant hormones such as auxins and uh, cytokines and jabrulic acid. Uh, it also plays a part in your ACC demonase, which is, uh, which helps with root and shoot development, the cut down of ethanol uh, production in your plant, which will uh, make your plant grow faster than it should. Um, and breaking down nutrients. Also, it helps your plants with its natural VOCs, which are volatile organic compounds. These are gases that are produced by your plant to defend itself against uh, insects and to attract pollinators by giving it that that smell it, it, it helps increase terpenes and resin production it helps your plants smell better and and taste better and um and i could just go on and on with how important vocs are but bacteria they do that it's incredible how deep this goes because what is going on here your bacteria and your roots they have a symbiotic relationship they will feed the roots and your plant everything it needs to stay healthy and grow and in return your plant will leak carbohydrates and sugar keeping them alive and the bigger your plants get the more carbohydrates they leak and that's why bacteria do what they do in plants these amazing soil engineers, these plant growth promoting rhizobacteria, what they do is they have a direct effect on your plant's growth by facilitating the availability of nutrients such as phosphorus, also potassium. Likewise, nitrogen and uh, trace minerals, which kelp meal has both, and azomite, um, you know, all those other nutrients that I did not mention need to be broken down. They're locked in the soil, and that's where the growth-promoting rhizobacteria, they will make it available to your plant. Likewise, there's nitrogen fixers that will take nitrogen out of the air and put it into your soil plant food ready. So now what you're looking at is a question. Where do I get growth-promoting rhizobacteria? That's where earth band soil comes in. We have a couple products that will meet your needs. Our first product is Grovana. It's an amazing product, IMO3 style. And another amazing living product that we have here at earth band soil is our Root Love and our Root Love Science. These are plant inoculants that are in powder form, very easy to use and will um, give your soil the living organisms that it needs for a successful grow. Likewise, with the Grovana, Root Love has a couple of our different biostimulants in it that will help your plant likewise grow strong and healthy. So if you're looking to grow sickly organic plants that don't produce anything, then don't have living soil. But if you want healthy, giant, productive plants check out living soil guys do your research and see that growth promoting rhizobacteria they are the future of organic growing god bless you you have a great day